Shalom, Shalom, soldier. Most high in Christ, bless. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Most high in Christ, bless. Most high in Christ, bless. Why did you join IUIC? I joined IUIC officially in September of 2015. I first heard the truth in March of 2015 while at Chicago State in the computer lab, filling out job applications. You know, and I saw a video. I saw a video. Um, but I joined IUIC because, uh, most importantly, I was at a point in my life when I knew I had needed God. You know, uh, I was 23 at the time, and well, I was actually 22. Um, I had made my share of wrong decisions, going down the wrong path, and I knew that um, in order to change my life around, that God had to be involved. Um, so I saw a video, was turned to another video, another video, and I began to learn. And what drew me to IUIC was, first and foremost, I saw the commandments. I saw the application of God's commandments. I saw understanding. Um, I saw brotherhood. And I was just instantly drawn to it. And as soon as I saw it, I knew that I was, I was supposed to be a part of that. So the commandments, the understanding, uh, the leadership, I saw that. I wanted to be a part of it. So that's what led me in. Uh, prepare me to join IUIC. How long have you been congregating? I have been con I have been con congregating since September of 2015. So that would be three years, three months. What made you decide to look for the Most High? Uh, what made me decide to look for the Most High? You know, again, you know, I was uh, 22 at the time. I had made my share of bad decisions. Um, headed down the wrong path, you know, and uh, I was came to a point when I knew I needed help, that I couldn't keep making, I couldn't keep making the same decision. I was making the wrong decisions. First and foremost, I had to admit that with myself. I wasn't in a place sitting there acting like it was all good. I understood that. And um, I know I needed God, but it was crazy because like I wasn't like searching for videos, you know, I wasn't searching for videos none of that i would just pray you know and when the time came i came across a video that video with uh beacon abiel uh when he was uh cutting up some muslims man i seen that video i had never in my life heard the scriptures before like that i've never heard that type of understanding i never saw brothers bringing it out zealously like that and my mind was blown you know i didn't even know that was in the bible you know and um but initially, that, that that's what uh, led me to the most high. You know, I just had my share of wrong decisions. I knew I was wrong, and I knew I needed God in my life. What scripture sealed the deal for you to walk in truth? I can't say. You know, I can't say. Uh, the script, the, the Bible says that Christ, you know, he comes in the volume of the book. You know, Baruch 4 and 1 says that this is the book of the law. So I can't sit here and isolate one scripture and just say, no, nah, this is the one that did it. The entire volume of the book, you know, there's several scriptures that I that I love, that I apply, that I meditate on daily. Um, so I really can't say, of course, Deuteronomy 28, brothers bringing out the Zondervan Bible Dictionary, Joel 3, you know, the history really drew me. But maybe if I had to choose one, um, maybe I'll just say Daniel chapter 10 and verse 12. Daniel chapter 10, verse 12, early on, you know, still early in my walk, but like when I first, first came in, you know, that scripture just kind of, you know, it kind of took me to another place um, with it being, uh, with it talking about, you know, the most high was, and Christ was telling Daniel that, you know, the moment he had set his heart to understand the ways of the Lord, he was heard, you know, and uh, during that time in my walk, I definitely felt that to be the case with me because even when I was full blown in my wickedness, I would just pray, you know, I asked God to show me more of him, show me a way, and he did. And when I ran, read that scripture, I was like, man, you know, I was doing the same thing. You know, the first day that Daniel had sought to apply his mind to understand the ways of the Lord, he was heard. So coming in, that, that was a scripture that kind of hit home for me as well. What makes you continue to stay with IUIC? Oh, that's a good question, man. Uh, a lot of things. First and foremost, the commandments, you know, and this truth. You know, a lot of people come with different different doctrines, different ideologies, go a lot of different ways. But at the end of the day, it's all about keeping God's commandments, executing God's commandments. And I see IUIC to stand firm on that. That's the that's the bread and butter. 
that's the secret sauce, as we like to say. So first and foremost, the application of the commandments. Uh, secondly is the works. You know, I see IUIC, leadership, brothers all over, man, putting in astronomical amounts of work, you know, in and out of the country. You know, the scriptures say that uh, I don't just teach it for much evil. So with the application of God's commandments, as long as the work, you'll be able to grow your spirit. You know, uh, so we got the commandments. We got the work um, as well as the understanding, you know, the understanding. When you look at other camps and, you know, not to say anybody in particular, but they, you may say one thing, but the Bible don't say that, you know, and uh, as we all do, we love understanding and, and just to see the waters rising and have the leaders over you constantly feeding you, feeding the people with understanding. I love that. You know, I'm drawn to that. Uh, as well as the brotherhood. You know, you come into this truth, you grow spiritually, and you're able to surround yourself with other like-minded individuals. And you grow, grow close bonds with brothers and sisters in this truth. So, you know, um, and this truth is not like we kicking it with our worldly family or ex-friends, people like that in the world. So these are your brothers, these are your sisters, these are your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters. So with all of that combined, the commandments, the works, the understanding, my brothers and sisters here, this is what keeps me going week after week, day after day. Not only with IUIC, but my walk with the Most High. Quote your favorite scripture. Ah, oh, man. Uh, I can't say, man. There's so many scriptures. I can't say. You know, I tried to give you one. Uh, Daniel 10 and 12, that's a good one, especially like when I first came in, but I can't say, you know, I just, the Bible, you know, the word was given unto Jacob, you know, I can't bring myself to a place and say, yeah, this one scripture, I can't do that, man, I, I can go, we can go scripture over scripture over scripture, I love them all, and I can't say my favorite scripture, I don't have one, I like the whole Bible, all of the, all of the word. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.